Florida Governor Ron DeSantis war with Disney World has now gone up yet another notch with DeSantis threatening to build a state prison right next to Disney World, which is hard to even say with a straight face that this guy is so petty and so vindictive. But he is. Let me remind you the backstory here. Disney faced internal pressure some time ago to come out and criticize what is known as the don't say gay bill in Florida. And the don't say gay bill in Florida is this bill uh, signed into law which uh, places restrictions on what can be taught in Florida classrooms about gender identity and about sexual orientation as applied to kindergarten through third grade. There was internal pressure uh, at Disney for them to come out and say we are against this uh, law. So Disney did that. And DeSantis and Florida Republicans flipped out. They said that Disney is going woke and they subsequently decided to punish Disney, including by taking control of that district, which basically operated as a private municipal government by Disney. And it contained Walt Disney World and some other parks. And this has continued to grow and grow and grow. This is not really a battle I think DeSantis can win, because even though I hate theme parks, I'm aware that tons of people love them and tons of people love Disney and the movies and, and Disney is generally very well liked. And so this is a risky thing for DeSantis to do. In addition now to saying that he is going to start sending inspectors to look at the rides at Walt Disney World, he now threw out the idea during an event yesterday that maybe he will build a prison next to Disney World. Take that district. You know, one of the things they tried to do was was put restrictive covenants on the land that the district owns. So if you look at this whole special district, Walt well, Disney Corporation obviously owns a lot of it, but the district owns other land. And, you know, quite frankly, I wasn't even thinking about that land. Uh, this was not something that was really important one way or another. We just wanted them to live under the same rules, pay the debt, pay the taxes, all that stuff. Oh, but come to think of it now, people are like, well, there's what should we do with this land? And so, you know, it's like, OK, it's, I mean, people have said, you know, maybe maybe have a, another uh, maybe create a state park, maybe try to do more amusement uh, parks. Uh, someone even said, like, maybe you need another state prison. Who knows? I mean, I just think that the, the possibilities are, 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 are endless. And so that is now going to be analyzed to see what would make make the most sense. OK, so he's it's uh, we're having fun. He's joking. The crowd's laughing. It's all super, super interesting. This should actually be chilling. This shouldn't send a tingle down your leg the way uh, Chris Matthews once said. This should really send a chill down your spine, because what we are talking about here is a guy who claims to have an ideology of not interfering with businesses, being against regulation, uh, welcoming the tax revenue that comes from businesses. I mean, what well, we're talking about, like the state's largest tourist attraction by far and antagonizing them is certainly an interesting economic and political decision. But this is yet another example. It's another data point of how they immediately and with total reckless abandon will get away from their stated principles if it's not convenient or if they're upset or if they want revenge or if they want to ruin somebody's day because they don't like politically the things that are going on. He is openly using his political power. He has already done it and he is threatening to do more of it against his perceived enemies, including corporate enemies. This is extraordinarily dangerous stuff. And despite all the claims that it's the Democrats that want to overregulate and hurt business and all these different things, I've never seen anything like this openly and overtly and brazenly. So is he literally going to propose building a state prison right next to Walt Disney World? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's not totally clear. But this is exactly the stuff that we've been talking about when we say these are not only hypocrites, but they are dangerously, dangerously hypocritical. And remember, it's all over. Don't say gay. That's how this all started. Disney said, hey, we don't like this. Everybody's welcome here. By the way, Walt Disney World, uh, I, I've never again, I've been to Disney once when I was like 18. 
I guess they're known for all sorts of corporate events where you can. I don't know if the park is closed down or what, but they do everything from corporate events to Pride Day to Gay Weekend or whatever else the case may be. It's also profitable for Disney, whatever you assess to be Disney's political view. Like, does Disney have a political view? Is Disney pro gay? I don't know, but they certainly know that their bread is buttered by all sorts of different people, including LGBT groups and tourists and travelers and whatever else the case may be. So this is as much out of self-preservation as it is about whatever Disney thinks is right and fair and good. I don't know that DeSantis can actually win this one, but it's certainly clear he's willing to try just about anything in order to take a shot at that.